this video we will discuss necessary and important HTML tags which are ordered alphabetically. We are still using HTML references for the same website. Here are the list of HTML tags from A to Z in which we will tackle significant HTML tags only. From basics to essentials HTML tags that could really help you start and learn coding HTML web pages. We will start first with the comments tag. This tag is usually used for reference markers for each code that you will put in. This really helps if you will have a lot of codes inputted on the web page you are designing and creating. We usually use this as this would help you cite the codes generated and coded by each member of our team. We can manage easily the progress given and the scripts we have put in. This also serves as a checker whenever we do test run on the web pages we have made and check its functionalities. This is the web page we created from our previous video. We will try to fill in the comment tags on the HTML paragraph tag. We will set it as this is for first paragraph of the web page. Next, we will put it as this is for link of W3Schools website. And lastly, we will put it as logo for MRM. Next, the doc type tag. This is the very first line in the HTML document in which it tells the browser what version of HTML document is written. We will put it on the very first line of our written codes. Next, the link or reference tag. I actually discussed this HTML tag from our previous video. We will provide the link above and below on this video. So that you will perceive the exact purpose of this HTML tag. On the previous code written, we actually set the website into the W3Schools website. Now, we will change the website link to YouTube website. We will set the display link as, this link is for YouTube website. We'll also change the code on the href link. And let us check on the web page and click the altered codes. Next, we will try the ABBR or abbreviation tag.
we'll try our names from MR Emmett Solutions. Mark, Rodrigo, and Michael. And set the text to MRM. Next, for address HTML tag. This is usually used for blogs and web articles. So, we'll try to input this lines of code. We will also use VR tags for the single break line of the text. As you can see, text are italicized. Next, the audio tag. This tag is usually used whenever you want to put audio files on your web page. All types of audio files can be set up on the page. Now, let us try to put an audio on the existing web page that we have. Let us try the given audio file that we have on the desktop. This is a wave audio file which file name of hello. Let get the exact path of the audio file and supplement with codes and try to check it.